class we are going to continue our lesson by learning how to expand binomials so when we talk about binomials we are talking about an expression with two terms so assuming i have a plus b and then i have c plus d and i want to expand this so this becomes a into c plus d plus b into c plus d so i'm going to get ac plus a times d is ad by removing the bracket plus b times c is bc and then bd so assuming i have minus 2 x plus 3 and then i have 4 x minus 5 and i want to expand this this becomes minus 2 x into 4 x minus 5 and then plus 3 into 4 x minus 5 so when we expand negative 2 times 4 is negative 8 x times x is x squared minus 2 times minus 5 is positive 10 and then times x 3 times 4 is 12 and then x and then 3 times minus 5 is minus 15. now when you walk through our middle terms we can simplify them so this becomes minus 8 x squared 10 x plus 12 x is um, 22 x minus 15. so this becomes our answer now if we have let's say minus 2 into x minus 3y and we want to let's say expand this by removing the bracket this just becomes minus 2x plus 2 times 3 is 6 and negative times negative is positive so we have 6y so this becomes our answer our answer now let's assume we are going to factorize any quadratic expression of the form ax squared plus bx plus c now if i want to factorize this expression normally what happens is we are going to multiply the a times the c the constant term is c over here and the coefficient of x squared is a so if i should multiply a times c i'll have a times c now i look for factors of this number which is after i've multiplied a times c the factors of a times c now after looking for the factors i look for a factor that when i add i'm going to get b so assuming i'm giving x squared plus 5x plus 6 to factorize now the coefficient of x squared over here is 1 so 1 times 6 is 1 times 6 is going to give us 6. factors of 6 i can have um 1 and 6 1 times 6 i can also have 2 and 3. now if i should add 2 and 3 we have to look for a, a, a number when we multiply we get 6 and when we add we get a middle term 5. now if i should add 1 plus 6 i'll get 7. but if i should add 2 and 3 i'll get 5. so my factors in this case are 2 and 3. so i write this as x squared plus 2x plus 3x plus 6. Because 2x plus 3x is equal to what? 5x. So we look for the common variable here. We factorize the common variable, which is x, and then we have x plus 2. Then plus, what is common here? 3. We have x plus 2. Since this and this are the same, we have x plus 2. And then the second term is x plus 3. So if we should expand this expression, we are going to get x squared plus 5x plus 6. The same way, this same question can be put in this way. x squared plus 5xy plus 6y squared. Now, the introduction of the second variable y doesn't change anything from this same method. It is the same method, 1 times 6, 6. Look for the factors 2 and 3. So just that, if the factors are 2 and 3, my expression now becomes x squared plus 2xy plus 3xy plus 6y squared because 2xy plus 3xy is 5xy so when we want a common variable here x is common so i factorize x as i have x plus 2y then plus um, y is also common and then 3 so 3y is common i have x plus 2y so if i should multiply this and this i get this this times this i get this this times this, 3y times x is 3xy, 3y times 2y is 6y squared. 
So looking at this, this and this are the same. I write it once, and then I have x plus 3y. So this and this, they have the same answer.